Hello Abbey Hill Primary School, my name's David and I work with the Colony of Arches exhibition which you've been helping out with for the past few years. So this is the 13th year we've been running the exhibition and it's a huge art event just across the road in the colonies and in your school itself. So we get all the local community and all the artists that live nearby to showcase their work in their house and in their businesses around, get everyone together and showcase our work. We also have live music, poetry, and even in my garden, I've got a dog rescue that come and the dogs there are all looking for homes. So I've been doing it for the last four years and I do the graphic design, which is also what my job is. So I design the brochures and the posters which you might see around the local area and on every lamppost. So this is one brochure I did last the other year. So I draw these bees and set up all the type and then together with the committee, we get all the artist information and we put them all on the brochure so everyone knows where they're going and what's up to see. So this is a wee sneak preview from you guys. No one else has seen this yet, so you have to be quiet. This is the brochure cover for this year. So get ready to see this on every lamppost and all the windows. Now you might be wondering why we've got honeycombs when it's in our exhibition. Well, we've chosen bees as our motif because bees live in a colony and a colony is all about helping each other to make lovely honey and everyone coming together. So that's, we thought that was quite nice to show how everyone in the community comes together and helps with the exhibition, including Abbey Hill Primary School. Now, your job this year is to colour in these lovely bees which Bill's drawn for us. So we want you to be really imaginative, make them beautiful, colour them in wacky colours, doesn't need to be a normal bee be a, a bee of your imagination and what we're going to do is we're going to cut them out very carefully so they're double-sided and we're going to put them on all the shop windows that we can so everyone walking past knows that there's a huge exhibition and all the wonderful artistic talent that's in the school and the area so that would be perfect if you could do that for us so every year I take part in the exhibition itself and I make lino cuts which are little rubber stamps which I carve out. I'll show you some. So I've got boxes and boxes of them. So I usually take photos of things that I like. So these days it's a lot of animals. So for example, this is a little frog. So I got a photo of a frog and I drew it out on tracing paper. Then I rub it onto some, a rubber sheet. Then I carve it out using a very sharp chisel. So I have to be very careful. And you cover it in ink and you push it on paper and you make lovely prints. Some of which are behind me, if you can see. So these are beetles and butterflies, which I saw at Edinburgh Butterfly Farm. I don't know if you guys have been, it's a beautiful place. So this year I'm going to fill my house with lots of frames and lots of prints just to make, just to show everyone. So that'll be fun. Um, I think that's it.